American Angus Association implemented the PGS show, it was just a great, great fit for our program and not just raising show cattle, but raising cattle that had a look, had some eye appeal to them, but also had some EPDs that we could market um, the offspring to our customers. What attracted us to the PGS show was that it fit our program, trying to breed performance cattle where we could market the bulls to commercial cattlemen, striving to produce calving ease cattle that still had plenty of growth. So we're fortunate uh, with what Select Sires has in their arsenal. We've been able to um, incorporate bulls that have a very well-rounded set of EPDs back into those mating. We were fortunate to show the champion heifer in 2020, in 2021, and again in 2023. Uh, our first heifer that won is a female we call, her name is Long Lucy 909. She actually started by Deer Valley Growth Fund, the current breed leader for registrations. Um, she is a third generation select sires female. She's actually out of a Deer Valley Old Hickory daughter that we selected from Greg Schaefer and his program in California. Uh, the next cow back is by Keneally Comrade. Uh, we flushed that female, of course, after she calved. Her first calf, we, she was bred when she won the show. Uh, we had not flushed her. Uh, she raised a son by Tehama Tahoe that we're using quite a bit and uh, is being used successfully around the country. Uh, then the second year, uh, Deer Valley Wall Street female. This year in 2023, uh, it was a daughter of the female that won the first year that won. Not every kid is going to be able to afford to go out and buy a show heifer. So some of those kids want to raise one at home. This affords them that opportunity uh, to produce their own cattle at home uh, that fit their own ranch goals at home. So I think that opportunity for those juniors to better understand the value of EPDs is, I think going forward, it's a way of teaching the youth uh, what they need to be looking forward to as they become older and more mature in the cattle business. So our relationship with Select Sires is, is really simple. It's a great, great organization, a great group of people. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with Select Sires for years now, and no matter what level you're talking to people with Select Sires, uh, they're very, very supportive. When we find that, uh, that bull that all the stars align, in other words, they look great, their performance data is great, their EPDs are great, and their genomic profile is very high ranking. Those are the ones we're after to put in Select Sire. Most young people at a standard cattle show see the phenotypical selection process and they learn a great deal from that. I, I was, um, you know, did that as I grew up, showed cattle. But when you combine the EPD profile with that, there's a whole nother layer of data that goes into that selection and I think it's very important for today's youth that they realize there's, there's a lot that goes into uh, true genetic merit from a data standpoint and from a phenotypical standpoint. We're, we're looking for the optimal animal.